Hi everyone. Um, I've had a few questions on my videos as to what are these strange little scissors and why do you use them? I don't see the point in them. Well, I have these for a couple different reasons and um, I use them primarily for um, doing narrow hems or rolled hems and I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. When I was young and ignorant and arrogant um, I would watch people sew and they would have these specialty feet and specialty scissors and specialty items that I couldn't afford and I would say stuff like yeah are they a really good seamstress if they have to have these specialty things and then reality slapped me in the face and so um, I realized that you don't have to make things harder for yourself um, you can be a really good seamstress and have all the specialty feet and scissors and different items. So I went on a quest to own every presser foot for my machine and um, every pair of scissors or because I want to see what this was about and how will this make it easier. So I'm all for change and I'm all for getting better and admitting when you're wrong. And I was wrong because these two make it a little easier. Now, is it absolutely necessary to have these? No, but I do like them. Now there is something about them I don't like. It, you hear that squeaking? Drives me nuts. I really should oil them or adjust them. I haven't yet. And then I find that if I don't prepare my fabric correctly, I'm doing this kind of I don't know what you want to call it. I'm, I'm angling my hand the wrong way and it ends up making my hands hurt. So I have to make sure that I prep the fabric correctly and I'll show you what that looks like when I do the demonstration. And number two, and I, I never thought how weird it might sound until I thought about making this video, but I just happen to enjoy sharp, pointy cutting things. And I find that I, have collected um, quite a few things because I have different hobbies. So I got this for Mother's Day and that was last year. So yes, I have a machete and I love my machete. I'm actually thinking about making a new handle for it because I broke it, maybe a wooden one, but I'm not really that good with wood yet. So these are all of my um, sharp pointy cutting things because I cut fabric and paper and wood and clay and metal. You can see the metal in the background. I cut that using another pair of snip things that belonged to my son. So that might be something I have to add to my toolbox too. So I'm putting in my wood stove. So I had to put that barrier there and on the bottom. So yes, I collect all the um, sharp pointy cutty things. So yeah. And then I, now I'm going to show you how I use my angled uh, duck build scissors for sewing narrow hems or rolled hems. Okay, so this is how I would use my duck build scissors. Now I fold my fabric like I'm going to do a hem. This is going to be a rolled hem. And I'm going to sew as close as I can to this fold right here. There you can see my stitch right there close to the fold. I'm going to go and press this up. Okay, now the flat wide blade can be laid this way or it can be laid against the seam here where you want to kind of hold this down as you sew or as you cut. I prefer it this way and I generally prefer it in my hands so I can help adjust it. But if if you lay it like this, you're most likely going to cut your seam. So the this fabric needs to be held up and then you cut. And you still have to be careful. It just, this, this flat blade is gonna hold this down, 
my thumb will hold that seam allowance up and just carefully work your way across it. For this purpose, I'm going to set it down. Hopefully, because I keep moving it out of the way of the camera. And the handle is angled like this to keep my hands away from the fabric. So it's not 100%, but it does make it nice and close to the stitching line. Like I'll have to go over and do this again because, and look how close here, because I want my rolled hem to be as small as possible. Now, I may not make it as small as this when I fold it, but I certainly have the choice to be that thin or make it a little bit wider. So this is what I'm looking for. This is why I use these scissors. And this is mainly why I have these scissors is for a rolled hem. Okay, so this area is much narrower than this. So I'm gonna go with this. I will fold it like that. And then I will sew close to this fold. Now, when you're doing a rolled hem like this, you want to start farther in from the edge and then you can back stitch to the end. And then go forward. Because if you start at the end, it's going to pull your fabric down into the throat plate. Now, see right here, I'm not going to keep it as thin as the cut is. I'm going to try and keep it the same width as uh, I did in the beginning. Now, this does take practice in getting it right. So practice. I hope you liked that video. Um, to not sound as weird as I felt like I sounded expressing my fondness for sharp pointy cutty things, I also have a collection of thimbles. And these thimbles are places that I have been. It started out where I've been and then people that know me will collect them for me when they would go to a state that I've never been to, they would, they would bring back a thimble for me from that state or that place or whatever. So if you guys would like a video on tools that I collect or um, my thimble collection, or if you want to go over tools that are good in the workroom besides just for alterations, let me know. And if you'd like to share your favorite tools, leave them in the comment box below and we'll just have a sharing party. If you guys would like to support this channel, click the links in my description box to um, shop my Amazon store. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and share. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.